Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Violet and I hope you consider subscribing. So welcome to day 8 of 12 days of Christmas DIYs, where I'm going to be sharing with you how I made these adorable light up Christmas ornament boxes using all Dollar Tree items. So the first one we're going to be making, basically you're going to need one of these uh, clear container boxes that you can get where the nail polish and makeup um, stuff are or supplies are at at Dollar Tree. Then you can get any kind of ornament that you want to use and place it inside your box. Now for the larger ornaments like this one, what I did was just um, add a little bit of glue at the bottom so I could glue it onto the box. That way it wouldn't move around once I did um, put everything back together. So next, after I placed my ornament inside my box, I went ahead and got some of these LED wire lights. Now the ones I'm using right now are from Amazon, but I will show you how you can use the ones from Dollar Tree as well. So you just place the um, wire lights inside your box and basically you just place them in any way you want. I just randomly uh, kind of pushed them in there. Um, I really didn't care how they looked in there. I just wanted them um, to you know, light up everywhere around the box. So once I was done with that, I just placed the lid. Now you can glue your lid onto your box to make sure it stays nice and secure, uh, but I wanted to make sure that if anything happened to the lights, I could just remove the lid and um, replace the lights if I wanted to. So once you're done with that, go ahead and get any kind of ribbon of your choice. I'm just grabbing this ribbon that's red with some snowflakes on it, and I'm going to wrap it around the sides of my box. Now this clear box, um, I believe it's for like cotton balls and stuff like that. Like I said, it's where all the makeup aisle, um, makeup and nail polishes are at. Um, it's just one of those storage containers, but I know it's not in the aisle where all the rest of the baskets and stuff like that are at. So um, just remember to look through the nail polish and makeup aisle um, and that's where you'll find these containers. So after you're done wrapping your ribbon around the side of your box, as you can see, all I did was use hot glue to make sure that stayed in place. Uh, with the same color of ribbon, I just made a simple bow to add on top of my box. Once I made the bow, I just squeezed it and pinched it with my fingers. And then I'm going to get some jute twine and wrap it around um, my bow. That way it can stay nice and secure. You can add wiring, um, you can even use the same color ribbon that you made your bow, anything just to secure your bow in place. Once I was done with that larger bow, I went ahead and just grabbed a few different color ribbons. Um, all of these ribbons are from Dollar Tree and I just made different size bows and different shapes. This one is just the four uh, two bows together. And instead of um, adding a ribbon around that one, all I did was just glue it in place. I didn't want to knot it because I didn't want that bulky middle part. So that's why I use hot glue um, to make sure my bow stay in place. And this white ribbon is the white ribbon with a little bit of hints of glitter in it. Um, it's really pretty. I think I thought this one's one of my favorite ribbons that I found this year for the holidays. Um, and I think I'm going to grab a few more just to have for different crafting um, throughout the year because I just really think it's so pretty. So once I was done making all the bows that I decided to add to my larger bow, I just wrapped that same jute twine around and then knotted it at the back. Make sure you tighten it up as much as you can just to give it more of that bow look. And then once you're done with that, you can leave it as is, but I had one of these extra bells that I had spray painted with the caramel color uh, from Rust-Oleum, and all I did was just um, add it and threaded it through my um, jute twine and added it to the center of my bow. And then you just fluff up your bow. And while I was fluffing up my bow, I decided to add a little bit extra to the center of my bow because I thought it needed something extra. So what I did was basically I grabbed one of the twist ties from your the garland twist ties, cut it in half, 
and then after I cut that in half I cut it again in half so it basically in fours but I just use one section of your um, twist tie garland and then I folded that in half and added it to both sides of my bell And to attach it to the side of my bells, I just added a little bit of hot glue. And now I'm just adding um, some hot glue to the larger bow in order to attach it to my box. And I'm going to attach it to the side of my box, basically on top of the ribbon that we placed and glued around the sides. Then fluff up your bow and there you have it, an adorable Christmas light up box. So I wanted to show you how I did a second one. So the second one, I am using the Christmas lights, um, LED lights or these uh, Christmas lights from Dollar Tree that have the larger battery pack. And what I decided to do in this box was basically add some pine cones and then these um, face fillers that you can get at Dollar Tree and this one had Christmas trees, snowmen, uh, boots, and uh, some stars. And they had red and gold stars, so it was just a random different colors. Um, but these all came in one bag. So I just filled it up as much as I could or as much as I wanted to. And then um, I adjusted the wire from the light to make sure that um, basically all of it was inside the box so I could just glue the battery pack to the back, just like we did on the other box. And again, you can glue the lid onto your box. Um, it, just remember that it's going to be permanent, so you won't be able to switch the lights out or replace them. You'll just be able to replace the batteries. So once I was done with that, again, you just grab any kind of ribbon that you want to glue around the side of your box. And for this one, I decided to go ahead and grab some burlap ribbon that I had. And as you can see, it wasn't large enough or long enough to wrap around the entire box, but that's okay because we're going to add a large bow again to the top of our box so you won't see that um, gap in the front or the center of your box. So once you're done gluing your burlap, go ahead and grab any ribbon you want. And I'm just grabbing this one ribbon that's red with green um, stripes in it as well and some tint of gold. And then going to make another bow just the same way we did the other one. Wrap it around twice to make that larger bow. And then just pinch it with your fingers and grab any kind of wiring or rope that you want to tie it in the center. But before I decided to tie this one in the center, I wanted to give this bow some tail. So I just grabbed an extra strand of the same ribbon and then pinched it right at the top or on the bottom, whichever way you work with your bows. Um, and that'll be the tails of your bow. So I hope you're enjoying these tutorials of the 12 days of DIY Christmas. Um, if you are, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with your friends and family. And also share in social media. It'll truly help my channel grow. So once you're done making your larger bow, you can basically make it any way you'd like, uh, customize it, add more ribbons, um, you can just add some Christmas ornaments on the top, um, whichever way you like to make or decorate your bow. So for this one, I decided to go ahead and get some of this olive green ribbon and again just make a simple bow. Um, and to not to make that big knot or the bump in the middle, um, I just added a little dot of hot glue in order for my bow to stay in place. So then I placed that one into the center of my bow. Um, and then with the same ribbon that um, has a zigzag white burlap ribbon, um, I just went ahead and made a simple bow. And this one I did tie it into a knot. Um, it was just an extra little strand that I had left over. So after I adjusted and fixed my bow, I just wrapped it around with the same jute twine. And I wrapped it around a few times and then I just knotted it in the back.
I wanted both boxes um, and not to be exactly the same but to go with each other since I am going to put these in my china cabinet I wanted them to kind of have similar colors and looks to it uh, without it being exactly the same so that's why I decided to go ahead and try to use the same colors for both of these boxes but you can make these boxes with some glam um, put some glitter uh, Christmas ornaments inside here or maybe one of those glitter snowflakes inside your box and then use uh, some different color for uh, your bows as well I know they have some pink and turquoise colors at Dollar Tree or anywhere you like to get your ribbons or depending on what style you're going for and decorating your home so you can make these boxes again any way you'd like so once I was done making my bow again I just added some hot glue to the back of my bow and then placed it onto the top of my box and to go kind of with the same um, style as the other box I decided to add some small little red bells to this one in the center of my bow And since there was a little dot of extra hot glue, I just grabbed a little piece of garland and placed it right there as well. So this is the way they both look together and light it up. So I hope you do enjoy these tutorials and you do make these uh, beautiful Christmas light up boxes. If you did, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook um, and all my links will be down below as well. And again, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Until tomorrow, you guys stay blessed. Bye.